What's up divas and divos, so it's your girl April. Today's video is going to be some styling. It's actually going to be a fun video for me because I worked with this company 11 years ago. They are the first company that's ever given me a real human hair lace front wig. Lace wigs had just came out. That's the secret. They have been in business for a very long time. Very first human hair lace front wig that I ever ever reviewed and received was their wig which was called Sabrina. The application process back then of applying a wig was not like the best. You know we worked with what we had but girl they have some really nice wigs. They got synthetic wigs but today's video is going to be one of their ombre wigs and her name is Thea. She's 16 inches and she is one of the fake scalp wigs. Your packaging does come in this pink box, which has been their signature logo, signature box packaging for a while. They did change it up a little bit, but this color has never changed. She is 16 inches and she's in the color NC30, which is natural color and 30 at the bottom. I didn't have to do anything with this wig, which is great. The first thing you're going to get in this package is a message from them, which says stop. Read me first. Once you cut the lace, girl, the wig is yours forever. You cannot return it. You cannot get exchange. You cannot give it back. You cannot cry or shout about it. It's your wig forever. So make sure that you don't cut the lace prior to installing the wig or trying it on and making sure that you like it. It's your color. It fits correctly. Because once the lace is gone, the wig is yours. So that's in the packaging along with some pink tissue paper. The wig, like I said, is a fake scalp wig. Really don't have to do much. I have gotten some where it's like, uh, ah! there were not fake scalps. They were, they were scalps, but there was a little bit more work that needed to be done to them. She has like these very pretty natural, like chestnut brown curls or waves in her. I didn't do anything to her yet, but just take her out the box. I will show you the fake scalp after I press her because I want to kind of like hot comb her and I really don't like to do that on my own head because it's just a lot easier on a mannequin head, especially if it's a canvas mannequin. So if you don't have one, I would highly suggest getting you one because it makes life so much easier. You don't gotta stand there and style it on your head. Your arms don't gotta get tired. None of that, like you can make the wig. So, I would highly suggest a canvas blockhead. So, let's get into this video. All right, you guys, let's get the styling. As I said, I do like these um, canvas block mannequin heads because you can make your wig on them. You can style them. You know what I mean? You can do a lot of things with these canvas blockheads. So, I highly would recommend just getting you one if you like to wear wigs or make them. I went ahead and took my rat tail comb and made a part. And I'm just going to be using this got to be uh, Volumaniac Styling Mousse. And I'm just going to put it in the part and also on the edges so that way when it's time to hot comb it, it makes it a lot flatter. It'll allow it to lay flatter. And the hot comb, and the hot comb is from Walmart. As I always mention in my videos, it was $20. The degrees does go up to 20. It is a dial handle degrees. There is an on and off switch. And I would say that if you really wanted a hot comb you can check out walmart or amazon this one takes about a good i would say thoroughly probably like a good five to ten minutes to get really really hot but i've been using it and it's rather comfortable now i'm just going to smooth the edges down you can also use a wax stick opposed to styling mousse for this method here to lay the hair flat But try not to keep the heat on the lace for too long because you don't want to burn and scorch the lace which will also melt it or get, add, put a hole in it. So that's the reason why sometimes I just use the back of the hot comb, especially near the edges of the hair. And just to allow the top to lay a lot flatter, I'm also going to use my hot comb and smooth that down as well as where the part is at in the back area. I will also go ahead and smooth down with the hot comb. Now taking my got to be glam force hairspray I'm just going to spray a little bit on the section that I'm ready to curl comfortably through the hair and just use my one and a half inch barrel curler 
And once I allow the curl to remove, be removed from the wand, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip it and then once again, repeat that step. And because I'm using a one and a half inch barrel, I'm taking the hair in bigger sections so that way it does not take me as long to hot curl this unit. And the degrees that I have the wand on is the highest temperature, which is 450. So the hair is really, really smooth. It's soft, it's flowy, it's very bouncy. I do like the color in it. I love this color for winter. Basically, I like the color for any time of the year because it's a very neutral brown. And I think it goes well with any skin tone. And as I stated, I've been... And as I stated, I've worked with Sassy Secret for so long. They were my very first lace wig company to give me a lace wig. And my application process back then was kind of like wonky, but you know, you learn as you go. It's always trial and error. But they do have some really nice units. You can also pick up some synthetic units on their website, which I will be reviewing very soon. I also did do a synthetic lace front wig a few months ago, which was a sassy secret feature. So if I remember, I'll make sure to post the link below for it, but it was a really nice lace front. Like I said, it's synthetic. It was a yakky texture hair, and it was also colored the same as this. Using the, using the hair clips will allow the hair to cool off in the curl pattern that you are styling. It'll also hold the curl for a few minutes. So you always wanna make sure you have some good clips. So that way while the hair is cooling, it'll be shaped and molded into the curl pattern that you have styled it in. And also it'll allow your curls to last a lot longer. All right, you guys, so now it's time to take off this wig that I got on right here. I'm just gonna take my two favorite clips that you always see me use, and I'm gonna take my index finger, and I'm just going to slip it through the sides of the wig. Just remember now, this is not glue that I have on my unit, so I would definitely advise not to do that if you have glue, but that was just some hairspray, and it's easy to remove. As you see, I'm just gonna wipe it off with baby wipe. It's also really easy to remove from your lace wig. You could just take a little toothbrush or a face brush and just dust it off, opposed to having to wash it every time you remove it if you're using gel or glue. Using a hairspray will hold my wig down for a few days. So this is the inside of their fake scalp. Just like the norm, the hairline is very decent. You know, look at the actual bleach knots in it and the hot comb method that I use. I'm just gonna slip those combs into the back of my nape area along with the sides. And if I forgot to mention, the unit is in 16 inches. I think they did a really good job with the highlights. I do like the chestnut brown, but I also like the way they just highlighted it. It slowly, you know, softens into the brown or to the darker color, the neutral color. But I also like the highlights that it's kind of like sparingly in certain sections. Now I'm just gonna follow the hairline somewhat and just use my scissors. I'm not gonna cut straight, kind of like jagged with this one. But the lace is very meltable. As you see, it kind of like just blends really well with my skin. I'm not sure if it's transparent or not. I really honestly cannot remember. But as for the bleach knots on the unit, there were a little bit of speckles in it, but not like what I've seen or have received in the past from a few companies where their lace uh, their knots were not bleached at all, which kind of like defeats the entire purpose of having a fake scalp if you have to put makeup on it. But this one came out pretty decent as far as the bleach knots.
Now I'm just gonna customize the side of the ears because it just overlapped just a tad bit over my own ears and it can make it very uncomfortable, but it can also kind of like break it, you know, make it or break it. Basically, if the wig does not lay flat against your head and you have some of it overlapping your ear, you'll either have to tuck it behind your ear, which will become very uncomfortable throughout the day, or it will, or you can just cut it off like I'm doing here by using my rat tail comb and parting directly above my ear, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the excess lace off. So that way it just allows it to lay flat as possible. Now in this portion right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and customize it a little bit more. Every little piece of lace does count. Even if it's the tiniest portion, you don't want anyone to see that you're wearing a lace wig. So I'm gonna cut this off. Along with that, I'm gonna cut off some of the hairline because it was a little too far out for me. So I'm just gonna be removing, removing a little bit of it along with just little pieces of lace that I have noticed were still on the unit. And I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and create my sideburn hairs as usual. You guys know how much I like my sideburn hairs. You don't need a lot, but you know what? Everybody has their own preference. And along with that, some wispy hairs for the side, just so that way the wig could blend even better. Even though you may not even really need them because as you will see throughout the video when I am styling my baby hairs, that there are sections where I don't even apply them. I'm just going to take the Got To Be Glam Force hairspray that you see me using like basically uh, almost all my videos and I'm gonna spray that in between the part on the lace wig and then I'm just gonna take my rat tail cone and kind of like press down into it. Along with that, I'm gonna also use my blow dryer on a cool setting to dry the product. If you don't have a blow dryer, just spray the hairspray in small sections and just press it down with your rat tail cone. You can also use a head wrap as well for that for the hairspray to dry. And I'm just gonna repeat those steps in the front. As you guys see how nice and clear that part is, you barely can see the lace, which is great. It is very meltable. And like I said, I'm not sure if it's transparent or not, but hey, it works out for me and just repeat that step on the opposite side. Now you guys, it's time to cut those baby hairs or wispy hairs or whatever you wanna call them, girl, okay? Make sure you kinda keep them short. You don't wanna have you like a baby hair bang. Like that's not really cool, so you know. I mean, I'm saying if you really wanna have a baby hair bang, then go ahead, that's your preference. But for me, I'm just gonna cut them down a little bit because I don't like them too long. And even though I've cut the entire front part of the hairline, you don't need to use all of the hairs. So with the same styling mousse by got to be, I'm just gonna take it on the back of my hand and brush the hairs back. And as you see, you really don't need any baby hairs you may see the lace a tad bit but trust me you guys you really may not need any type of baby hairs but you'll definitely need some cyber hair girl I mean, i'm saying i mean if you don't want to you don't have to but i'm just saying i like cyber hairs and i'm just going to mold that sideburn in with my styling mousse and i'm just going to take the back of my rat tail comb and i did spray a little bit of hairspray right there because i noticed that i wanted the hairs to kind of like more or less fall in the front opposed to just using baby hairs throughout the thing so that's the reason why i'm brushing them down just a little bit and i'm also going to take that mousse again and kind of like sculpt me just a little bit of a baby hair in the front because of the corner of the wig i just want it to be less um, detectable And I take the hairs in the front, I kind of like swoop them to the side. So that way I won't have to really have like any type of baby hairs too much, you know. And then I'll take a little bit of the Gatsby Glam Force Gel on the tip of my rat tail comb and press it into the root of the baby hair. And then I'll just repeat that on the opposite side, girl. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up.
came out rather nice for a fake scalp. It worked out good. I didn't apply any makeup. I just put it on. The fake scalp is really blendable. You don't see it like that. But sometimes when you do get these fake scalps, you can see like that line, the demarcation of where it starts, which is not like one of my favorite things. I'll be honest and say the fake scalp lace wigs are not my favorite. Like I just prefer the old school way or that new HD lace. I really do like those. But the fake scalps are not really one of my favorites. But I will say that I have reviewed quite a few and some of them have been kind of disappointing but some of them have also been really good first impressions. So I will say Sassy Secrets did give me a very good first impression. The cap fits really good. You know, it's snug. It doesn't come with any extra elastic bands, which is unfortunate because we all do like the amenities of extras in our package. And, you know, I didn't put an elastic band on it. I really didn't need to, but sometimes I like the comfort of it because, you know, those hooks and the adjustable straps, sometimes they will come out of the slot so then it's like oh my goodness my wig is unloose in the back with the elastic band you really don't have to worry about that because it's still you know what I mean snug but the color came out good I like the color and for 16 inches this really kind of reminds me of like 18 for me depending on how tall you are but you know the hairline looks really good now I did notice that there are some spots that are not really bleached bleached like how I would prefer it to be but you know we're gonna just try a little bit of the makeup And the lace is actually, it, you know, it's not transparent, but it does blend into the skin really well. But I just want to see what it would look like if we did apply powder on top of it. So you guys, 16 inches. This is Thea. This is the fake scalp, which is available at Sassy Secrets. You know, let me know what you guys think. This is kind of like grown and classy. You know, you can wear this hairstyle to work. It's not too much hair. But yeah, rather cute. So I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. Share with everybody in the whole entire world. And happy holidays. And I'll see you guys in a soon-to-come video. Uh, uh, uh,